Hey guys, welcome to Shantae Rescue's Revenge Director's Cut. Uh, a while back I said I'd play... I might go back and play these games. Well, that time is now. So, we have, like always, since I've beaten this game before, we have original mode. So we have Shantae in all her regular glory. Or we have magic mode, where we take, where we use up less, uh, where we consume less magic, but our defense is cut in half. So for, you know, for an extra challenge. And well, you know me, I like to do, I like to have challenges, is this? So let's, let's go with that. <laughs> I'm sure it's not gonna bite me in the butt like uh, hardcore mode did. <laughs> Uh, so this one was actually the first Shanta game I've ever played. Uh, phew, life is a half genius hard work. Ever since I ran Risky Boots out of town, every monster in Sequin Land wants a battle. Well, holding back now won't help any. Gonna have to hair him till it hurts. Uh, so yeah, this that definitely is half damage already. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this was like the first Shanta game I've ever played. Um, which also introduced me to the series as a whole, but this what this isn't the first Shanti game that actually came out. Uh, the first one was over on the on the Game Boy, and it was like during the you know it's the final year, all well, the final I think before it went into the Game Boy Advance, um, which explains why it's so you know not well known. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad that they kept making more games, because they're really fun. Yeah, I still got the moves. Here we go. And the cool thing is, like, I like Shantae. Like, the game and the character. Um, it's really good. It's a good platformer. It's a good Metroidvania game. And the writing is really good at times, too. <laughs> um, hiya, Shantae. I'm off to see your uncle's show. Want to go with? Huh? The Relic Hunter Expo's today? Yeah. Sky and Wrench flew in this morning just to see it. Oh my gosh, Sky's egg. I left it sunning in the bay. Don't move a muscle. So... It's like... It's weird uh, going back to this, considering uh, Half Genie Hero wasn't um, so much a Metrovania game, but like, you know, kind of like Mega Man, where you choose a place and then, you know, just go left and right. No. Uh, is there a map here? Oh, that's. Okay, maybe not. I, I think I get the map later. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's just weird, but I am can't wait to get through this. Especially with the, in this mode. I've never actually played it on this mode. Got the egg. Let's go. Phew. It smells like grandma. <laughs> I'm sure that's normal. You're the worst egg sitter ever. Don't blame me when Sky finds out. So I can't wait to see how this goes. Hopefully it won't, you know, bite me in the butt like, you know, hardcore mode did. <laughs> At least early game anyways. And grasping the white crystal firmly in hand, I ducked for several seconds at what appeared to be a common cliff face until blah blah blah. You're late. It's your sworn duty to protect this town against the criminal element. Aren't you a grump? I'm guessing training week was a bust. Total disaster. My warbird hatchlings literally flew the coop. All besides wrench here. Speaking of which, do you have my egg? Yes, we do. There's my boy. So, did you take good care of him? Spoiled him rotten. 
You'd better have. Oops. It's time. And with my emptied bowels replacing the treasure, I was able to outwit the pressure trap and make my escape. Citizens of Scuttletown, may I present this year's object of mystery. Ooh. Incredible man. Huge bowels. Such bravery. <laughs> As usual, we'll kick off the festivities by cracking open a fossilized treasure and offer the contents up for auction. This year's mystery object appears to be encased in solid stone, but feels quite hollow. Shall I smash it open? Yay, do it! Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> then let the festival begin. Ooh. What is that? Looks like an oil lamp. Er, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my mistake. I seem to have brought the wrong item. Uh, that is. It's okay, Uncle. Show us. Show us. Yay. No. I mean, no. It's not important. <laughs> Let's move on to the next event. Uh, please turn your attention to. Huh. Oh, no need for alarm. I'm just dropping by for this. Risky boots. In the flesh. Your spelunking uncle is always dredging up new collectibles. But this one, well, this takes the cake, doesn't it? It's just a worthless lamp. Put it back before there's trouble. Tisk tisk. You have no idea the trouble that's in store. Heave ho, men! Hoist my booty through the roof and put your backs into it. Uh, fortune most foul. That lamp is extremely dangerous. Sky, Bolo, one of you catch her before she reaches the dock. No way, I can handle this. No sign of Risky Boots or her pirate ship. If I've lost her, I'll never live it down. Yoo-hoo! Genie girl! Looking for me? Risky! Now I'll give you one last chance to hand over that lamp. If not, things are gonna get ugly. <laughs> They're gonna get ugly, alright. Let's see how you handle my brand new steam powered oceanic tinker tub. I feel like that's gonna st that that would stand for something. I don't know. Poop Toop was the last one, was in Half Genie Hero. <laughs> Lock and load, men. It's time for Risky's Revenge, so let's attack aggressively. Ho ho ho! Also, title drop. <laughs> Alright. Boop. Yeah, so I'm glad, like, the intro bosses aren't, you know, too difficult. Although I did have a hard time <laughs> in, in Half Genie Hero. <laughs> so, you know. That's. But, you know, that's different. That's. That was literally. Well, hard. <laughs> okay, let's let's see what shenanigans this one. Oh, okay, it's just the cannonballs again. I, I I'm glad that I can you know back dash, and I like her animation for it too. And get done. Not bad. You've learned a thing or two since our last duel, but no matter. With this lamp, I finally got the means to crush Sequin Land, once and for all. Till then, play with this.
Shantae, wake up. Are you alright? Uh, she got away. Remain still. Leave the situation to Sky and Bolo. But... Oi, this guy. Well, this is a fine how-do-you-do. Lying down on the job while that pirate runs pell-mell all over my town? Well, ever since this pirate thing started, Scuttletown's been going to the dogs. Uh, may, may your scuttlebutt. Please understand. She's doing everything possible. Phooey with half-genies. We're a whole town. We need complete protection. Pack up your things and clear out. You're fired. What? You can't mean it. I do. And that's my final word on the matter. Now get going. I'm a busy man. God, I hate the mayor so much. Well, he was in rare form. But he'll change his mind once, once I get that lamp back. No, I forbid you to go. Now you're acting we now you're acting weirder than the mayor. What is it about this lamp that's got you so worked up? I I can't tell you. What? Why not? I promise your mother never to speak of it. That lamp caused a lot of suffering back in her day. Trust me. It's trouble. And better left forgotten. You can at least tell me why Risky would steal it. Is it dangerous? No, but not anymore. The genies banished its magic long ago. They divided its power into three magic seals and hid them away forever. Even if the dark power was somehow restored, few remember how to use it. And I intend to carry that secret to the grave. But uncle, Risky must know more than you think. Otherwise, she wouldn't have stolen it in the first place. Uh, it's true. The potential for evil is too great. We have no choice. We must find all three magic seals before Risky Boots does. It will be difficult. And very dangerous. And afterwards we must never speak of this again. Do you think you're up to the challenge? And if it means saving our town from evil, you bet. I'll find those three magic seals and put an end to Risky's evil schemes once and for all. Alright. And with that, we can finally start. And, you know, get those three magic seals. T42. I wonder if there's... Is... No. I think this is the shop. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, here we go. Let's see. Can I get anything for... I got 40. I can get a fireball. Oh, I can get a fireball. <laughs> the fireball spell. And I'll get a potion. Just just cuz. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. What else do I need? Oh. Let me go save it real quick. Oh, right circle. Let's make a record of that journey. And... Okay, there we go. I, I was just wanting to see which one triggers the fire spell. Let's see. Okay, keep a sharp eye on your heart meter. Coolio. Left of town is a pumpkin field. Off to the right is a lilac field. I'm trying not to get lost. Yeah, I think this is where I gotta go. Ooh. Oh, wow, okay. You do not... Okay, you're a lot stronger than the beginning. Than the beginning ones. Okay, good to know. Oh, does that... Oh, sweet. So if I'm ever... In a pinch or scared to do anything, they can just burn. That is great to know. <laughs> I 
Ah, these are our little teleportings. Greetings, stranger. I'm what they call a warp pedestal. It's my job to zap folks from place to place. I like to help you out, but until my warp brothers break, wake up, I can't do squat. Oh, well, that's cool, because I can just... Oh, hey, look. Okay, so the cool thing is, you know, a bunch of collectibles around. But I cannot get that until I get a certain something later. Which I think it's the stomp and the elephant transformation. I don't know, it's... Like I guess it's been a long time since I played this game, and it's hard for me to remember what I need for what secrets. But let's continue on and, you know, woo, try not to die. <laughs> now let's save the game. Yeah, I'm constantly going to be saving because, especially in this mode, where I, oh my gosh, you take three. There we go, because <laughs> I don't want to, you know, go through far enough, progress far enough only to get killed in, like, the dumbest way ever. And then start over from the last place I saved, which was, I don't know, three or, three or four saves ago. <laughs> okay. But I do like, oh, I like the... How this looks though, like in the background you see all that, all that fog, and the transitioning from, you know, one place to the next is really cool. Do I get the map now? Hmm. I feel like one of these buttons are the map. Or maybe I don't get a map, maybe, maybe I'm just going crazy, <laughs> going crazy. Well, let's see. Let's just keep going. Gotta search for those. See, oh, hey, look, a warp, warp pedestal. That's great. Now I can. Oh, okay, cool. Not, not that way. Let me go this way. Actually, let me see. I think I can see the map from here. Oh, I forgot how the map is. Okay, yeah, that's how it is. Okay, let's see, there is, okay, those are the pedestals, and, okay, so we go back one, and forward two screens, yeah, next to the save, there should be the, the first, one of the temples, one, there's another one, and, okay, cool, we're almost there then. So heads up, there's going to be a, l <laughs> a lot of backtracking. <laughs> oh, man. Which I'm totally fine with. Just, just a little heads up. So I may or may not... Oh, wow, that is... A lot of damage. Oh, man, me without any, any health. I can make it through, just like I have like half a heart. <laughs> It'll be fine. And there we go. I'll have 50. I've got enough for something else. I could probably get that. Wow, oh, what is it? Is it a pike ball? I think it might be a pike ball. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's a little different to upgrade the your magic items because you need because uh, there was like this little icon next to it next to the price yeah those are like I think uh, <coughs> magic <coughs> ah, sorry like magic gems no not gems uh, what, what are they called well oh, magic containers yeah those are magic containers and hold up let me just go through. I forgot to check the gate. 
see. Who's out there? The lunch courier? If you don't have my tasty meal, then get lost. Okay. So I need to... Yeah, okay, okay, I remember this part. I gotta go to the far ends of... Ooh, the... Okay, that was close. Of this place. Oh, I don't know if you do projectiles. Like, I'm so scared because... I don't know if... I'm not, I'm not scared of these guys. Because... Well, they're easy to take out. It's those in the back that I'm really scared of. Because I don't know if they throw projectiles or anything. Okay, but I shouldn't, I shouldn't have anything to worry about. It should be good. Let's go in here. Welcome, miss. I'm very sorry, but today's orders are all backed up. My dream has always been to become a master chef. Traveling the world with my pup, Wobble Bell. But he seems to have run away, and without him to inspire my dishes, my dreams have fallen into ruin. If you find him, please tell him I miss him. Oh, Wobble Bell, I miss my pup so much. Okay, so now we gotta find her pup. And I don't remember where, so... <laughs> that's gonna... That'll take some, some time. But I think I'll just head over to the... Uh, to the... <coughs> oh, my throat. Oh, it's, it's doing all those voices and then commenting. Oh, I gotta... I gotta pack a glass of water or something. Or something when I'm recording these. Oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind for the next... <laughs> Before I record the next video. <laughs> okay, I have not a lot of health. I have a potion. Uh, I'll save that up. For when I feel I'm going to get hit. Okay, in the meantime, let's save it. And I'll end the episode right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.